there in YouTube land and uh, right now I just got home and feeling really great because I uh, just uh, got back my exams which were my finals for my last term were 82, 88, and 92 and uh, got something there from Amazon so I'm going to open it up and check it out and see what we got. Hopefully it's something good. I don't remember what it is. So, yes. It is very cool. In our quest and collection to get all of the uh, animation we grew up with and stuff like that, we got uh, Dashley and Muttley in the, uh, their flying machines, the complete series. This is the, of course, is the other part to the uh, Wacky Races uh, trifecta the trilogy. There is Wacky Races, Dashley and Muttley, and Penelope Pit Stop, and now we have all of them. This one has uh, the Vulture Squadron's Greatest Misses, Dashley and Muttley spinoffs, Wacky Races Rot, commentaries on two episodes with animation veterans. So, uh, should be really cool to check out this, uh, yet another Wacky Races spinoff. And next up, we grab this one here. And this is one I grew up with as a kid. Uh, it's the uh, best of the new Scooby-Doo movies. The only ones that could not be included on this were the ones that had rights issues. <clears throat> but as, uh, some of my favorite. There's, uh, 15 episodes on this one here. And they're all, you know, they're hour-long episodes. Got the Hanna-Barbera Kennel Club, Roll Scooby-Doo, and there's not a lot of features on this one. Uptown Scooby-Doo and the Harlem Globetrotters, and Girls Rock, Spotlight on Daphne and Velma. That's pretty much it. But before this set, has some uh, great stuff in there. The Harlem Globetrotters, Dick Van Dyke, Three Stooges, Jonathan Winters, Don Knotts, Lauren Hardy, Mama Cass, Elliot, uh, but, of course, Batman and Robin, and Speed Buggy. Uh, so there's a crap load of uh, really cool animation on this. So today, I just got home, I got my grades, feeling fantastic about that, guys. I got the new Scooby-Doo movies, I've got Dashley and Muttley and their amazing flying machines. I got this because uh, something that we had ordered was, uh, could not, was no longer being made, so we got a, uh, a coupon. So, there we go. Two more additions to our animation collection, and two more additions to my uh, personal uh, Hanna-Barbera collection, something that I feel very strongly about, something I watched a lot as a kid were Hanna-Barbera cartoons. So, uh... I always got to say, guys, I strongly recommend picking up the Hanna Barbera Classic Collections. They just have such great stuff that you can watch as an adult. <clears throat> you can watch, uh, you know, that you can watch with your kids as well. It, uh, stuff like this, stuff like Looney Tunes, like, uh, basically, it, trans, you know, it, it transgresses the whole, it's not the word I'm looking for, but it just, there's no barrier, there's no age barrier. Uh, I always... The only thing that annoys me, ever meet with people like, you know, I don't watch any cartoons, I watch nothing animated. And I'm thinking those, yeah, you don't want to know the word I'm thinking, but, uh, pretentious comes to mind. Anyway, that's my rant for today. Thanks for watching, guys, and for me right now, I might watch a couple cartoons, actually, because I've got some time off. But first, it's time for tea.